Epic Games headed to the Game Developers Conference the other day, showcasing some big improvements coming to Unreal Engine with Update 5.2. For those of you following, you'll know that Ashes of Creation moved to Unreal Engine 5 way back in December of 2021, which feels like forever ago. It's not that long ago, though. It's kind of sad. But again, they upgraded to 5.1 this past December, and the only real downside to it is it put some small delays in the project with hopes that Unreal Engine 5 and its new features could ultimately speed up development time and make the game look even better. Well, we could possibly be seeing another engine update in Intrepid's future if they choose to move forward with Unreal Engine 5.2. As they are always looking for the latest technology when developing Ashes of Creation and weighing its pros and cons. So what exactly does 5.2 do that could benefit Ashes of Creation? Well, there are two big updates that they showed. The first one is the smaller of the two, in my opinion, which is something called Substrate. Substrate is a new shading material that will allow artists to compose and layer different shading models to get much more control over how objects look, which can lead to much more complex and detailed material appearances. So basically, from what I've gathered, they can make things look more pretty with less complications. Something that may be useful in the future for Ashes of Creation, but personally, I don't think that it's worth pushing things back even more for right now. The next thing that could be huge for game development in MMO specifically, depending on how it's used, is Unreal Engine 5.2 is introducing procedurally generated content tools. This tech looks pretty badass for building massive worlds. The demo showed a 200 square meter area that was handmade stuck in the middle of a 4 square kilometer area that was completely procedurally generated on the map. And it was pretty much impossible to tell the difference between the handmade one and the computer generated one in the demo they showed. The demo also showed them going and placing various procedurally generated assets into the environment and the environment seemed to automatically form around these assets making it feel like it's natural there. You could then choose to move this asset around and change its position which the environment would continue to adjust itself around and then you could go and fine tune it and get that perfect look that you want. Something that could potentially be game changing for building massive worlds and speeding up the time it takes but it didn't really show how this would address the problem that a lot of procedurally generated areas have, which is the feeling of them being repetitive after a while. Also, with MMORPGs, you want each zone to feel different, so while I feel this could be useful in some certain areas, perhaps in the Underrealm or Rocky Mountains and Dense Forests, overall, you don't want it to take away from that feeling of exploration and each zone being unique from one another. So, I'm not sure how this would tie into the MMORPG development, especially with nodes and ashes in the ever-changing world, so so it would be very interesting to see if this is something that Intrepid decides to use in certain aspects of the game to help speed up development. Otherwise, 5.2 comes with some minor quality of life updates to Lumen and Nanite, some shadow improvements, and a bunch of other features that I don't really know what they do. If you want to learn more, there is a link to the roadmap in the description below. But that's not all. Epic Games also showed off their Meta Human Animator, which although is not part of the Unreal Engine 5.2's update, it is something that could be huge for gaming later this year when it launches. In the most simplistic explanation possible, this program basically allows you to capture facial features and movements on an iPhone or a mounted camera to create very realistic facial animations. iPhones have a very impressive facial tracking ability that they use, which is why a lot of VTubers are using iPhones instead of Androids, and I assume this is the same reason for the MetaHuman Animator and why they specifically chose iPhones. But regardless, this is something that would be great for creating in-game cinematics that give a more realistic approach, especially for those big story moments in Ashes of Creation. But now, the question is, does Intrepid need any of these things enough to justify pushing back Ashes of Creation development again, even if it only takes a couple more months? In my opinion, they really don't. Other than the procedurally generated assets, nothing is really going to help speed up development or drastically change the look and feel of the game like Nana and Lumen did. Unreal Engine 5 set the game back, which was well worth it, but 5.1 was only supposed to take about a month to implement and it seemingly set Intrepid back 3-4 to four months instead, as they ran into some hiccups and ultimately decided to upgrade to 5.1.1 as well, because 5.1 had a lot of bugs and 5.1.1 squashed the majority of these bugs. So honestly, that was a good choice to delay a little bit longer just to get that update because you don't want to be building a game with buggy tools. But at this point, maybe Intrepid should hold off a bit on doing more Unreal Engine updates, unless it's something game-changing that comes out that will help the development of Ashes move along or make the game that much better. 
Epic Games is going to continue to work on Unreal Engine 5 for years to come, and you can't expect developers to push back their games a little bit every time there's a new update. Because then you have to update the engine and run through all the bug tests. When you do massive updates like that, there tends to be bugs and issues that it creates that you have to go in and squash afterwards, depending on how bad it is, can set them back even more time. And I really don't want these games to continuously get delayed because they feel the need to adapt every single update that comes out. But I'm no game dev, so let me know if you think I'm wrong. Anyways, do you think that Unreal Engine 5.2 will be beneficial for Ashes of Creation, or should Intrepid just leave it alone? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.